Today we are going to learn how we can bake our animation inside of Maya. So if you have created any type of animation, we can bake it and we can smoothly play it in our timeline as well. And then you can render it perfectly. So this was actually a request by a couple of you guys. So those who were interested in this, this is for you. So let's get into it. So I'm going to take a simple plane here. I'm going to scale this up, bring this up and let's make the overall divisions to one by one. I'm going to take a simple sphere, bring this up, scale this up this right about there and let's take a couple of cubes so i'm going to scale this down and go to about my front view and bring this right out here and so there we go all right so from here i'm going to create some rigid body dynamics i'm going to go to fx go to field and solver and create active rigid body now i'm gonna by default those cubes reset in the same origin which is center of the grid so i'm gonna hit ctrl z to undo this and i'm gonna go to fields and solver go to active rigid body and from here i'm gonna reset the whole setting and i'm gonna hit apply and there we go so i'm gonna select this and go to fields and solver create a passive rigid body select this create a passive rigid body now select everything and go to fields and solver and create a gravity there we go so from here if i play this we have something like this so i'm gonna select all my active rigid body and create a mass of maybe like 1.5 bounciness to 0.3 and friction to maybe 0.3 and 3 just so they don't slide that much so i'm going to make this 0.4 all right so once you have this if we play this now we have something like this not exactly how we wanted it so we have a bit of collision problem with our plane so i'm going to delete this we can obviously delete our history and run this back again but i'm not going to do that so i'm going to select this go to physical solver and pass the rigid body all right so there we go so let's bake this because rigid boy dynamics is not exactly what um, you can see in a way they go in a certain direction there can be a millions of different types of simulation there can be so i'm going to bake this just so i have a precise animation so just so i can render this up so i'm going to go back to my first frame i'm going to select everything i have go to create uh, i think it was in edit and uh, keys and bake simulation there you go so if i select this this will by default start to bake the whole simulation and you will see it will just run the whole frames and now you will see manual keyframes applied in all the timeline here so now you can scrub through your timeline and go to wherever point you want it to be so now you have a perfect render sequence you can render this out now this dynamic simulation will act exactly how this has been baked so you just have to go to keys bake simulation you can do a couple of things from here from the overall render settings here with the overall bake simulation and you can change if you want to be selected below channel box and so on but for the majority of the baking system this is like the base the basic default settings are the best and if you want a new layer to be baked on you can choose that and if you don't want to bake the whole scene you can simply choose start and end and you can manually adjust how many frame it should be baked and that's it so now you have perfect baking simulation all right so that was it this was a pretty short video and have fun with this bake your simulation and create some amazing animations i'll see you in the next video